You're listening to Two Babies and a Business, a podcast about business, marketing, growth, strategy, staff, clients, babies, and marriage. I'm Christina. This is my husband, Peter. We're founders and leaders at CIPR Communications. How's, How's it going, Christina? Oh, you're always trying to beat me. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> oh, how's it going? Uh, it's going pretty good. I'm excited. We're going to go uh, pick up our kids at grandma and grandpa's house, so been a weekend off but uh it's time true. to get back it's been nice last episode we kind of alluded to personalities and i thought we could kind of give the history of that because if you are a client at cipr communications or a staff or if you've had like a glass of wine with us at our house pretty much in or any interaction with the polarskis <laughs> you will be exposed to kind of our um philosophies around the importance of personalities, but um, you exposed me to uh, personalities very early on in our relationship. So why don't you, uh, why don't you tell it from your perspective? Because I certainly tell it from mine all the time. Sure. Well, um, I, uh, I'll start off with I was married once before. Um, and uh, that marriage brought me to Calgary and uh, ended soon after I got here. And um, you know, obviously, uh, started dating sometime thereafter. And uh, as I was going through that sort of period of my life, I, somebody gave me this book called The Wisdom of the Enneagram. And uh, I started reading it. And it's a book about personalities. The Enneagram is a, is a personality sort of, uh, I guess, philosophy. It's fairly ancient. Um, and uh, that book really helped me get through uh, the divorce, my, my, my divorce. And uh, and it helped me to understand that uh, ultimately, I think part of the challenge with uh, my previous uh, marriage was uh, a personality mismatch. And so, um, and not a mismatch, but just sort of challenges in terms of personality. And certainly there's many, many other factors, but uh, uh, nonetheless, that's what left the biggest impression on me and what helped me get past things. So when I started dating Christina, I uh, said, uh, you know, it's nice to meet you. If you want to go on a date with me, you need to take a personality test because I don't want to waste my time with <laughs> with the wrong personality. Uh, so let's just get this over with. So that's how it started. And talk about pressure. Like one, if you know my personality, for me, it was like, whatever, dude. Like, <laughs> And I was 23. So it's like, who is this guy? Like, wait, like all I'm doing at 23 is wasting my time. Um, uh, but two, then there's this like added pressure of like, I obviously really liked you and like, oh, I went from the wrong personality. Um, and as a kid, uh, which I was at 23, you know, it's a little bit scary. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? I, uh, I call the wisdom of the Enneagram my Bible on humanity or my, uh, my not Bible, but my, uh, guide on humanity. Um, and I really, really think there's a lot of value. So obviously, hey, if we wouldn't have been a personality match, it would have been good to know. It's true. And I think, you know, we've both been in the corporate world um, before obviously running our own business. And I think a lot of corporations go through personality testing and team building. I've been through kind of colors, training, um, discs, which is also something that we, we do right now with our coach. Um, and I, I think that, you know, when you're in a corporate setting like that, you don't necessarily take it as seriously. I think you obviously should, but I think they're, you know, it becomes a bit kitschy. Um, whereas our relationship was really grounded on it. Like, I, I think that, um, you know, a, a long-term relationship with someone that you love and care about takes work. I don't think that's a surprise to anyone. And for me, understanding your personality type, and I think especially over the last few years of running a business with you, um, it's allowed us to grow and actually move forward um, and not kind of come up against each other, which I think every different personality type can do at certain times. Definitely, yeah. Um, so we introduced... Um, well, I guess we should see what our personality types are. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Okay, well, what are you? So I'm a seven. A seven is an enthusiast. Um, so a couple of ways to describe a seven is 
you don't always have to say everything that's on your mind. This is a thing I struggle with all the time. I just say it. And the other thing that I do as a seven is um, I have a lot of ideas and a lot of a very big picture uh, thinking approach. I'm, I'm very good at connecting sort of many kind of different ideas and thoughts and people and sort of figuring out how things connect uh, at a, at a high level. Um, so, uh, yeah, sevens get bored easily. They like a lot of variety. They, they like to stay, uh, stay excited. Um, and I think we avoid, um, sort of the feeling of pain, pain and feeling of, uh, of, uh, feeling stuck and, and, and not having like not having enough choices and variety in our lives. That's essentially, uh, essentially a seven. So that's who I am. How about you? Who are you? Maybe that's why I changed my hair color all the time. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Now you know, folks. Um, I'm an eight, so an eight is a challenger, which I feel like every eight at some point goes like, like, oh, we sound so mean, <laughs> but we're not. Um, an eight is the most assertive of the personality types. Are, and we're okay with that. That's not a bad thing. Um, but I mean, we are natural leaders. Yeah. The eight is quite organized. Um, our kind of pain point or fear is kind of um, vulnerability and uh, being controlled, right? Like we, we really like to take control um, at our healthiest. We're, we're great mentors. Mm -hmm. We strive to protect the weak. Um, you know, it's why I think about last winter, why I had a nervous breakdown in the lineup when we went skating and someone stole our kids' little skating helper device um mm -hmm. lost my mind uh, <laughs> but in those circumstances like my personality really comes out and it's a, it's about that kind of you know the eight i think especially if you're a female and a mom is the ultimate mama bear um yeah so. yeah very nurturing personality very caring but has a has a definite tribe and takes care of their people um but you don't want to cross an eight either no, I remember my dad saying to me from a very young age, and he still reminds me of this today, about being a bendy tree. A and bendy so, tree. That's when the one. tree blows in the wind, don't be the tree that snaps, but be the tree that's able to bend. Yeah. Um, and it's actually something that I think about quite often in my life um, and has helped ground me in many ways. Yeah. So we made our staff we made them, we encouraged them to, um, spoken like a true eight, I made them do that. <laughs> um, we got them to do personality tests. We started almost, I was looking back, it's like two and a half years um, yeah. that we've been doing this as an organization. And um, we've spent time kind of diving into personality types. If you look at our work group chat uh, that we have on WhatsApp, it's usually filled with Enneagram memes, uh, making fun of one another which I think is, you know, the most healthy thing uh, from a staff perspective. And then we, we actually started um, getting our clients to do it as a part of our marketing agency onboarding um, kind of process. Yeah. And that's been such a helpful thing, right? Like, it's interesting. We had a client just this week where things kind of just didn't go as expected. And, um, you know, it was interesting just sort of knowing his personality and sort of the words he was using to describe kind of the what how he was feeling and what was going on and whatever and such a helpful thing like it just so um i think it makes us help allows us uh, helps us be a little bit more empathetic and a little bit more understanding of like where okay yeah you're coming from it you're you're describing things in this way or you're approaching it this way because that's just that's that's kind of your natural sort of way to be and 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 you know people see obviously view the world in different ways and uh, I think the more we can understand people, certainly in the marketing communications business, but really in any business, I would say, um, the better we can be at uh, at providing great service and and adding value and sort of being you know being the right way and being doing doing things for that person that's going to mean something for that person. Yeah, we have a client, um, and I I absolutely adore this client. I adore, I would say, all of our clients, but this one especially because she is the exact same personality as me also a you know strong uh, female leader in an organization and um in the past month there's been some circumstances where i've been able to step back and go how would i want this to play out if i mm -hmm. you know it was very easy for me to put myself in her shoes and mm -hmm. for us as a as a as a in this circumstance as a public relations provider 
um, to go above and beyond in that circumstance because I, I knew what would wow me. And I think that's really been um, a great differentiator that we've been able to build into our business. And yeah. it's so easy. We ask two questions as part of an onboarding. Um, we get to know someone and then we get to tell them all about our personalities. And um, yeah, it's been really great. I think it humanizes things in the onboarding process as well, which is good. But uh, I did, I do want to include one little sort of little marketing tip of the day here, if that's okay, if related to personalities. But um, obviously, uh, you know, marketing communications, working with an agency is a very uh, human kind of interactive <laughs> thing. There's a lot of interaction between people. So um, certainly there are, you know, marketing agencies that are better than others and worse in terms of like results. But I think it's important also just to think about personality and personality fit and, and, and making sure when you're picking an, an agency that it's a, a fit in terms of personality. And I think for us as an agency, it's been helpful. It's been interesting. Some clients that haven't worked out as well and knowing their personality and understanding that part. And we seem to have a, a couple types that we work with more than others. Not that you know, I'm sure we can work with most, um, but, but fit is important. And I think that's just my main point. And so, um, you know, uh, maybe go with your gut sometimes, I guess, is the, the tip I can, I can give there when it comes to agencies that look similar. Totally. Well, in that agency life, when you're picking your agency or consultant, and also when you're picking your wife. <laughs> Well, that's it for this round. I'll leave it there as the last word. Nice. Um, but thanks, Peter. Love you. Love you.